Hello, and thank you for joining us on Journalist Hangout. I am Esther Macquariola. Today on the program, CJN restores full complement of Supreme Court judges, swears in 11 justices, and later on the show, Nigerian Armed Forces debunk story of Kuzker as defense headquarters dismisses report of putting Guards Brigade on high alert and threatens legal action. I'll be hanging out with Babajide Kodade Otitoju and Chris Kende Wandu. Journalist Hangout starts now. Right, let's begin in the Temple of Justice, where the Chief Justice of Nigeria, CGN Justice Ulukayode Ariwola, has sworn in 11 new justices for the Supreme Court. At the ceremony, the CJN charged them not to allow their ambition to becloud their sense of judgment. Some of the justices are Jumai Hanatu, Sanki Chidebere, Woma Uwa, Shoma Egondu, Musu Iheme, Haruno, Sa Simon Samani, and more, Asiemu Adumei. Mikhail, let's begin with you on this now. What's your expectations following this appointment of new uh, justices? And do you think this could perhaps resolve the challenge of, uh, will I say, effective justice delivery in Nigeria? What do you make of this, first of all? Well, certainly, it will help quicken the pace of uh, justice uh, delivery. This is the first time we have a full complement of Supreme Court judges. And um, the current CJN can take pride in the fact that uh, during this time, we have this full complement of judges. And the president also um, has to take uh, credit for what has happened because uh, he's the one who um, sent the list mm. to the Senate. Uh, the Senate. In the past, there were complaints that some geopolitical zones were not um, adequately represented. We will, a judge will die, we will not appoint uh, any judge to replace him. And it went on like that, like that, like that, until it got to a situation that there were complaints, especially from the southeast, mm -hmm. that um, they didn't have enough uh, people, enough uh, justices in the Supreme Court. I remember when Justice Datijo retired, his parting shots were quite uh, uh, significant in terms of the rot in the judiciary that he complained about. And he, he spoke extensively about the fact that um, some states have not been able to fill their quota in the uh, Supreme Court and even said that it was deliberate, mm. that it was deliberate that um, uh, judges uh, were not, judges who, who died were not replaced, you know, you know, you know justice in ways they died, we waited and waited, no replacement um, came, but all that has been sorted now. Judges have had to graduate from the appeal court to the Supreme Court. Some of them uh, participated actively, or so the people sworn into the act participated actively in the resolution of uh, electoral litigation this um, uh, past few months. Mm. For example, the um, lead uh, judge at the Kano um, Election Petitions Tribunal, Adume, is now in the Supreme Court. Justice Samani who led the presidential uh, president, election. Yes, you know, and a few others like that. Uh, so it gives me hope that uh, the pace of justice will be quickened because when you look at the fact that at the point we had just 10 judges, mm -hmm. so what 21 judges can do, you know that 10 judges cannot do. do. Yeah. Even if they will do it, they can't do it 
at the same pace that uh, double that number would be. So it's, it's good for our um, judicial system that we now have full complement of judges. We've always said Supreme Court judges are overworked. So many cases that ought not to get to Supreme Court, get to Supreme Court. People are even uh, advocating that we have to look for extra judicial mm -hmm. means of resolving matters rather than uh, every matter going to court and ultimately ending in Supreme Court. Mm. So uh, with this full complement of uh, judges, justices of the Supreme Court, the CJA will be able to assign cases to as many judges as possible, and uh, I'm confident that this will bode well for the judiciary. Right. CKN, also we understand the CGN asked them not to allow their ambition be cloud their sense of judge, judgment. Rather. What do you make of that assertion, and how do you think these justices can live up to expectation? Yes, apart from that, um, you also that, you say that uh, they should expect more criticism mm -hmm. um, about their judgments. So uh, these are not rookies. Uh, these are justices who have seen it all. So they started from high court, from high court to court of appeal, then from court of appeal to um, Supreme Court. So at least none of them have put in nothing less than about 20 to 25 years um, in the court. So they are well grounded. So criticism is not something that will be new to them. Mm -hmm. uh, dispensation of justice is nothing new to them. They've done a lot of that while they were at the court of, um, High Court and also Court of Appeal. Um, the only difference now is that they are in a place of finality, as it were. Um, you know, they say once you take a case to Supreme Court, once you lose there, the little you do is appeal to God. That is the end of the matter. So um, they are taking up uh, more responsibilities. And um, just as Bikyo said, we hope and believe that this will accelerate some of the um, cases we have in the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. The last time we had a full complement of the Supreme Court was um, as far back as about 2020, mm -hmm. or thereabouts, even before that. But um, you, you come to realize that some cases in the Supreme Court take up to 10 years for you to get judgment. You come to realize that by the time the case gets to Supreme Court, and all the time people wait, by the time the judgment is being given, most of the people that brought the case have died. It has already been the case. Um, um, lawyers have also complained that if you go to the Supreme Court today to pick a date, you will not be able to get a date for the next two years. At times it could take three years before you can get a date for your case to be heard. Except for accelerated cases like that of um, election, um, that of financial crime and the rest of that. But any other case could take that long. So that is why you see that even in law, uh, uh, as a law uh, uh, student then, and also as a law graduate, um, there's always been this call for what is known as ADR, Alternative Dispute Resolution Mechanism, which is what some states are already doing, especially Lagos State is very good at that. That is why you see that Lagos State created the uh, mediation centers in Lagos. That is not every case that you have to take to the court. You see somebody having a problem with his landlord, he wants to go to court. But they have a, a mediation center where you can go and also get this resolved and without, with less problem, less time, and rest of them. So I think we should push more on the issue of ADR, mm. and which is why we also have the um, you have the um, Institute of Arbitration. I'm a member of the Institute of um, uh, Institute of Arbitration, United Kingdom. And what this also is that it's not all the cases that you take there. You see what happened in some of the cases between Nigeria and. Um, from companies and even other countries, is not every case that you take to court. So what I will also profess is that most of the judges at the court of um, at the high court, uh, at the um, um, court of appeal as well, even at the Supreme Court, if there are cases that you think that they can be able to, this thing can be resolved easily without necessarily going through the process of, um, if you understand what I mean, then it should be sent to arbitration, uh, central arbitration, or even for mediation and rest of them, so that we have less cases. It's only very important cases that should come. In fact, there was a particular time that I know that a particular uh, Supreme Court judge um, complained bitterly about some of the cases being brought to them at the Supreme Court and said, this is not supposed to be here. Why are you wasting our time here? Mm. So uh, we congratulate the 11 uh, justices of the Supreme Court, and I hope that uh, their impact will be felt 
in the next few months and the next few years. Indeed, and let's hope that the Nigerians get quick dispensation of justice with yeah. this new appointment.